All right, what is up everyone? And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up training in a good way for you, depending on what you wanna train in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to the main menu. We're gonna go to the battle and training menu. We're gonna hit super training and then training. Come with me. From here, you can choose your stage. You can choose any of the stage. Let's say we wanna just fight at Cell Games Arena. We just click A and then we'll head into the character selection screen. From the character selection screen, we can uh, pick any character that we have unlocked. Let's say we want to train as Radix, for example. My turn now. We're just going to click on him and you can actually even um, add more characters than um, just the one. That way you can easily switch between these characters and um, train multiple characters at once. And if we want to change what uh, hero the or character that the enemy is, uh, we just click RB and then we can switch to him. And let's say we want to train against Piccolo. We, now we have uh, Piccolo as our enemy. And now we can hop into the uh, battle. We hop into the battle by holding X and we can start battle. And by default, by default, he's just going to stand still and just take damage and he'll actually have a health bar and he will be losing health while we're uh, fighting. So what we can do to change that is we just go to training settings and we go to gauge settings and to have him have unlimited HP and us unlimited HP, we just go to max. Now when we go to fight him, he won't be losing any HP and we can just keep the fight going as long as we want. So. Now, the next thing that we may want to do, let's say we don't want to be charging up our key the whole entire time. We can just go to training settings and then we're going to go to gauge settings and then we can also set our key gauge to max. This will make it so that we can just fire off abilities as much as we want and we aren't going to lose any, lose any key and we can just keep spamming them as much as we would like. So, there we go. Uh, so to change it so we always have our purple gauge set when we go to our gauge settings you just want to set the sparking gauge on max and now we will always have our purple and we can use our very special b ability uh anytime we would want as well i'm not going to do it that time because the animation takes a long time but we're going to set these back to normal and just make sure our cpu has max health and then if we want our cpu to change behavior we're going to go into training settings and we are going to go through here on the strategy. There's a bunch of different strategies, like guard only. They're always guarding. We can have them um, focus on melee. We can have them focus on key blasts, sparking combos, um, counters, restraints, anything like that. So there's so many different options. I would say like the most important thing to practice early would be rush attacks. So now I have Piccolo set to rush attacks. He's going to be rushing me as much as he can. And this way I can practice... Um, practice my close range combat against an enemy while having a limited HP and not having to worry about uh, taking him out too fast or him doing any movements that I don't want to be practicing. So that's one of my favorite uh, things to practice. Um, there's a bunch of other things you can practice too, such as um, uh, lift strikes, smash attacks and follow ups. There's a bunch of different variations of these that are all really useful to uh, practice countering and practice fighting with. Um, but yes, that is how to change your um, uh, opponent settings. And yeah, that's basically it for training. It's uh, very useful, especially setting your uh, CPU behavior. And uh, I hope that helped you guys out. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comments. But uh, do not subscribe to me and have a good day.